What's up, Pipe Hunters? So vending machines are super popular in places like Japan, where you have vending machines for basically everything, like dirty panties. But in Singapore, not so much. We are here at Chef in Box Ben Cafe. It's a newly opened cafe that sells all its food from vending machines. I don't know if the food's gonna taste good, but you better be worth the hype because I'm freaking starving. Let's go check it out. So first impressions is that the drinks that we have are not the same as the drinks you get in a normal vending machine. All this stuff is like, what is it? Is it alcohol? I guess you have a bit of local and Korean flavor. Oh, that's so cheap. A Coke is 60 cents. Is it a smaller size? No, it's big size. Are they making a profit on this place? And the like, best part of this whole thing is, it is cashless. Now apparently you can use Apple Pay, Android Pay and all sorts of new like Wismos to pay. It's crazy. It's I so know. convenient. We're living in the future. You see, it says Smart Nation. Okay, so we have a lot of options here. Hainanese chicken rice, it's like fried carrot cake, black pepper beef with rice. Are you... And what's this drink? Ching, Ching Teng! Teng. <laughs> Say it again. Ching Teng. Ching Teng. Damn! Don't laugh at me. So we're at the second food vending machine and it's slightly different because you don't get to see the food. Everything is on this computer screen and you just take your pick. The difference between this machine and the last one is that that one is the 30 seconds machine. It dispenses the food in 30 seconds and then you have to go and microwave your own food. And this one, you have a choice of getting it hot or cold. And if you want it hot, you have to wait three minutes. If you want it cold, it comes out in five seconds and then you can take it home and eat. The last machine over here are snacks. This actually looks really great. A lot of stuff that I haven't seen before. So I think the concept of this place is mainly grab and go because it's not a huge place. But uh, they do have one standing table for you to kind of like eat your food. If this you is where to, we would dine. You can have cutler. <laughs> How cute is this packaging? You've got condiments, lots of chili sauce, dessert spoon, and, and sauce bags. So if you want to just get it and go, I think that's yeah, so where you're going to pack your bags. Yeah. I'm really, really hungry, so let's order some food. So we're just going to go with the carrot cake. Oh, 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 oh it's happening, oh. it's happening. Wow! Okay. <laughs> wow! Collect here! Wow, we are... Ah! Woo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so the carrot cake took 30 seconds to come out. This is what the machine does. And it's cold, so we have to heat it up in the microwave. Also, usually it will help everyone to heat it up and all that. Oh, okay. The staff here help you with microwaving your food and then we saw some elderly who, you know, are trying to figure out how to use technology and stuff and they help them order the food. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice and hot. It smells good. It smells really good. So I'm like super excited about this machine because it looks so futuristic. So we are going to go for the seafood paella. Hot. Confirm and deliver. Waiting for credit. Oh! Oh, there's a little countdown. Ah. This is terrible. This this always makes me frustrated. It's like, oh my god. It's only exciting when you reach like five seconds, four seconds. But this is like excruciating. Five. It's like slowing down. No, it's not. Two, one. Please be ready. That was anticlimactic. There's an like, additional three seconds. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, thank you. Next up, we're going to have clay pot chicken rice. It's relatively easy to use the machine. We ordered our food without any fuss. Uh, we didn't have any trouble with it, so it's pretty easy to use, no-brainer. We're going to go for something a little bit western now. And let's go pull out with Toscana sauce. I don't know why that is. We're going to start off with the one that we bought first, which is the fried carrot cake. So it looks like a legit carrot cake, but it's a bit sweet. I can taste like a lot of sugar in it. Yeah, I don't think like if I go to a vending machine, I would go for carrot cake because I feel like that's the kind of thing that would be the best fried hot out of the frying pan. Not super keen on this. It's not super good. Next up, we have the seafood paella and this is what I'm excited about. I think looks-wise, it looks pretty good. Okay, the rice is a, a tiny bit dry, but it's so flavorful. Mmm, I agree. I didn't think it was dry at all. I tried fish. Mmm, I tried the salmon. It was good. The fish is tender, moist. Mmm, it's not hard or dry. The, the fish is good. I think this is a good dish. I would so order this again. Five dollars. I think that's a pretty good deal. A really good choice if you're coming here to order from the vending machine. Yeah. This dish is the Alaskan Pollock with Toscana sauce and mixed vegetables. The veggie is a little bit soft, but it's okay. I prefer it like soft than like uncooked. Yeah. yeah. The sauce is not bad. A little tangy, salty, and just the right amount of creaminess. I like it. Which is okay. It's not like... It's not bad, but I mean, I don't know. Somehow I just had high expectations. 
Because of the paella, right? Yeah. But I keep forgetting that it's only five bucks. At the end of the day, it's microwave food. It's five bucks. It comes out in 109 seconds. Pretty good. I am still like, haha. For five bucks, if you're passing by this area, you could also pass by like maybe one of the food courts nearby and get like a freshly cooked fish and vegetables. For this one, I don't know if I would choose it over take away from like a food court. So this is the clay pot chicken rice. And I have to say, it looks the most unappetizing out of all four dishes. It looks yeah. so dry, so boring. But you know they say never judge a book by its cover, right? So maybe it'll taste really good, who knows? Let's try it. Okay, I don't have high hopes for this. Okay, I'm gonna try the rice first. Uh. I think it's okay! Oh my gosh! You know the surprise? I know! Wow! See, you never judge a book by its cover! I'm so shocked! I am so pleasantly surprised. It was like light and like fragrant. Quite flavorful. Yeah. Rice has absorbed all the flavor. Mm. That's the part that shocks me. Even though it looked like that, it does taste like clay pot rice. If you did a blind taste test, I think you'd be able to tell, oh, clay pot rice. And we were both pretty impressed. Yeah, yeah, I was Yeah, shocked. That's for Should sure. Try the liao? Yes, I'm gonna try the very dehydrated looking mushroom. Mm. Mushroom is very flavorful. It was actually quite... Moist. The top look like it's a little bit dry and hard because I think that part gets exposed to the heat the most in the microwave. But the inside is so tender and it's like juicy. Right? Oh my gosh, I think we have found the unsung hero. And I was gonna say, I think the portion is pretty generous. No, I wouldn't say it's generous. I think it's a good amount for you to feel satisfied after the meal. Who would have thought? So on hindsight, when I tried the carrot cake, I was thinking, okay, vending machine food, can't have high expectations. So I was trying to be kind and I went, okay, it's not that bad. But after trying all four dishes, I have to say, the carrot was cake that was horrible. But overall, I think we're pretty impressed. Yeah. I can really see this going places, because right now it's like everybody, everywhere's facing like manpower crunch. Places like on campuses or like busy workplaces. I could see this really taking off. It's so useful and it's like but great. It's not, it feels so cold, like, no human interaction. Didn't you watch Wally? This is the future. Didn't you watch Wally? Didn't you see it was sad at the end? Wow. Oh. Yeah, she missed the whole point. Oh. It's a simple idea. It's not a lot of like selections, but it's just good enough for people to have variety. Okay, so in sum, the price is like pretty reasonable, I would say like food court price. The drinks are definitely cheaper oh, yeah. than what you can get at 7-Eleven. Yeah, so I think unanimously we think that this place is worth With the, the hype. Alright, we've filled our tummies and that's all we have for you today. Please remember to download the Click Now app so you can watch all our videos right when they come out. We'll see you next time. Bye!